All right. So the first thing that we are going to study in any science is matter. And uh, of, of course you have to believe that you matter, but other than that, uh, the matter that I'm talking about right now is one that has mass and second, it occupies space. Mass hone ka hai, you can weigh it and space ka hai, you can put it somewhere. It can occupy something. You can, it will have some volume that you can measure that you can place it. Now that volume can change, but that mass, it is conserved in nature. Conserved means things that don't change. Okay. So mass will never change and we will study in chemistry, in different reactions, how mass goes from one point to another, but it never changes. The overall mass stays the same, but volume can change for something and how it shows itself. This matter is what we call states of matter. And this is a very interesting idea. It is such an interesting idea that people did not believe it. And people just took 2000 years to come to terms with the idea that matter wohi rehta hai, uski state change hoti hai. Most people did not believe that. Let me give you an example. If I told you that ice, the snowball that you can use to fight with another person is the same thing as water that you can drink, which is the same thing as water vapor that is going to scald you. If you put your hand in it, it's all the same thing. Just because you have studied it, you have it's all H2O, it's all water. But for a moment, forget everything and tell me, is it not shocking that we are that ice, liquid water and steam are all the same sub matter and the fact of the thing is that its mass is the same hoga a glass of water le usko freeze kare usko weigh kare wo utna hi mass hoga agar aap usko steam bana le aur steam ko weigh kare uski bhi utna hi mass hoga fark kis mein hoga space mein and that is what states of matter are at the very heart of it all states of matter are just different ways of same mass occupying space so how many states of matter are there? Three. Sorry, three. I can think of around, I think 21 states of matter, but three are the ones that we deal with on daily basis. There's a fourth one plasma, just stars. Mahti. In fact, fourth one is the most abundant state of matter. Plasma is the most abundant state of matter. But we don't have to a levels in our lives because our lives don't have any special connection So the three main ones that we will talk about are solid, liquid and gas. And we show them in chemistry as this. We put brackets around them and we put S for solid, L for liquid and G for gas. And later on, we will talk about a fourth form of matter or a phase of matter. I will not call it state of matter. I'll call it for phase of matter, which is aqueous which means dissolved in water. Okay. That is very similar to gas and liquid. It's somewhere in the middle of those two things. And that should give you the first idea that solid liquid gas koi fix it's not that one thing can be solid and not a liquid. There are things that behave like solids and liquid at the same time. Can you think of something that does that? So in case you are using an LCD, you are looking at something that is somewhere in the middle of solid and liquid. It's not solid. It's not liquid. It's liquid crystal. If you're looking at an LCD. Similarly, if you have ever played with Play-Doh, that is actually closer to a liquid and further away from the solid. If you've worked with Play-Doh and if you 
of course you have talked about glass glass is actually a very close thing to liquid jo ke solid ki tarah behave karti hai that's what glass is so solid liquid gas ko rigidly separate nahi hote hain there is a spectrum ek cheez solid se liquid se gas banti hai gas se liquid se solid banti hai solid se direct gas bhi ban sakti hai gas se direct solid bhi ban sakti hai it interchanges and we'll talk about that tomorrow how do states of matter change from one to another but abhi main aapse ye baat karna chahta hu ki solid liquid gas hai now let's try to see ki wo kaisa hota hai so think of any one solid unas what solid are you thinking of mehra out words sir a brick for example a brick okay a brick is a good example it's a very rigid solid okay tell me does that brick have a fixed shape yes sir it does okay so the brick has a fixed shape okay does the brick have a fixed volume which means it has the same space that it occupies does it do that yes sir it does good good now fourth question a uh, third question and meher you know what a brick is does the brick flow no sir it cannot it does not flow okay and next question is can you compress the brick no uh, no sir we can't. can't yeah we can't compress the brick yeah we can break it but we can't compress it and lastly density okay so before we you answer that density is the idea of how heavy something feels ab usko pakadte ho aapko kitna heavy wo lagti hai theek hai aur usko hum kehte hain ki mass compared to volume maine bola tha matter mein mass hai aur space hai to dono ko agar hum compare kar le to wo density hoti ki that mass in that space kitna heavy feel hota so brick is heavy so it has a high density Okay, all right. Aina, can you think of a gas? Uh, steam. Steam. Okay, let's talk about steam, everybody. Does steam have a fixed shape? No. No, it doesn't. Okay. Does steam have a fixed volume? No. Do you understand what that means? मतलब एक सिलेंडर में मैंने स्टीम डाली है. और मैं उसको एक छोटे सिलेंडर में डालना चाहता हूँ विल आई बी एबल टू डू दैट गुड गुड ओके डज द स्टीम फ्लो डज द स्टीम फ्लो इट डज इट डज कैन यू कंप्रेस दिस Of yes. course you can because that is how you can convert it from one high volume to a low volume cylinder. So yet it can be compressed, and steam takes a lot of volume. It has a low density. Now, for a moment, ignore that there is a liquid in the world. Look at us, solid and gas. Do you see something? Opposites. Exactly. solid and gas are just the same matter in exact opposite properties and liquid kya hai liquid is just something in the middle so hame sirf solid aur gas ko samajhna hai aur hame states of matter ki samajh aa jayegi in fact let me make it even easier hame na solid ko samajhna hai na liquid ko samajhna hai hame sirf gas ko samajhna hai because if you understand how a gas behaves exact opposite is what solid will behave and somewhere in the middle is how a liquid behaves so that behavior if you want to understand it just focus on what a gas does so let's explore that in detail any questions so far no great so how does a gas behave and that is what we call gas laws in chemistry and in science in general law is something that tells you how something is 
it does not tell you why something is the way it is it just tells you how that thing is newton ke sar pe sep gira usne kaha gravity ka law hai mera newton ko nahi pata tha ki kyun hoti hai gravity einstein ne kaha ki is wajah se hoti hogi aur usse pehle logon ka khayal tha ki kisi aur wajah se hoti hai gravity aur einstein ki ek nayi theory of gravity aa gayi और हमारे पास 2018 में जाके हमें पता चला कि एक्चुअली में ग्रेविटी क्यों होती है और टेक्निकली हमें पूरी तरह आज भी नहीं पता कि ग्रेविटी क्यों होती है वी हैव वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग थेरीज बट वी डोंट रियली नो कि ग्रेविटी क्यों होती है बट वी नो एग्जैक्टली कि ग्रेविटी करती क्या है हाउ इट वर्क एंड वी कैन वर्क विद इट दैट इज हाउ वी सेंड रॉकेट्स टू मून एंड दैट इज हाउ वी अंडरस्टैंड सैटेलाइट मोशन एंड दैट इज हाउ वी अंडरस्टैंड हाउ थिंग्स विल बिहेव द वे they do in space and planetary motion and everything sari ki sari space physics is way ki hame pata hai ki wo kya karegi hame ye nahi pata wo kyun karti hai so laws are ways through which we define how something behaves so gas ke kuch laws hain there are four laws that we'll talk about the first law how a gas behaves is boyle's law so it's a good idea to remember people who worked on it so boyle's law basically tells you robert boyle bahut zabardast scientist tha so boyle's law simply says you take any gas and you apply pressure on it the gas will compress a boyle ko nahi pata tha ki kyun aisa hota hai aur abhi hame uski batane ki bhi zarurat nahi hai ki kyun aisa hota hai all we need to know is what happens the question is what happens if you compress a gas if you apply pressure on it it will compress that's the idea or If you release pressure on it, आप उसको ना pressurize करो, so it will start to expand. So Boyle's law is the law of expansion. And how does the gas expand? It has to do with pressure. So pressure is inversely related to volume. Provided temperature doesn't change, and everything else that you have, it does not change. That is a very important idea there. ठीक है? So Boyle's law क्या कहता है Temperature constant होगा It will not change. You pressurize a gas, it will compress. You remove that pressure, it will expand. Where can we use this? बहुत simple है Let's say you are an underwater diver. आप surface पे हो तो आपके lungs जो हैं वो इसको use करते हैं कैसे हम सांस इससे लेते हैं Our lungs. Do you study bio, by the way? Yes. So, how do our lungs work? Basically, when you inhale, your lungs increase in size, and when you exhale, your lungs decrease in size. Our chest expands when we inhale. Why does it expand? Because it's coming gas. How is it coming? हमारे लंग्स एक्सपैंड करते हैं वहां पे प्रेशर कम होता है तो वॉल्यूम ज्यादा हो जाता है गैस का हवा हम इनहेल कर रहे हैं वो हवा ज्यादा आ जाती है वहां जब हमने उसको बाहर निकालना है हम उसको कंप्रेस करते हैं हम प्रेशर अप्लाई करते हैं यूजिंग द आई थिंक डायफ्राम इज वॉट वी हैव हमारी बॉडी में जो ज्यादा वो प्रेशर अप्लाई करता है नॉट श्योर आई एम स्टडी बायो एंड दैट इज हाउ वी कैन यूज दैट इट सिंपल मसल्स और वो प्रेशर अप्लाई करते हैं और गैस हमारी बॉडी में आ रही है और जा रही है लेट्स से यू डाइव हंड्रेड फीट डीप आप चले गए यू एक्सहेल आपके एक्सहेल करने में वो जो आपने एयर एक्सहेल की है उसके बबल्स होंगे दोज बबल्स व्हेन दे इंक्रीज व्हेन दे राइज टू द सरफेस उनका साइज बढ़ता जाएगा इनफैक्ट That size is a really simple thing जिससे आप उसे बता सकते हो मैथ्स में ना इस रिलेशन को बोलते हैं प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी और प्रोपोर्शनैलिटी को देखने का एक बड़ा अच्छा तरीका है यू कैन मेक इट इन टू एन सो यू डू पी इक्वल्स टू के ओवर वी के मीन इट अ कॉन्स्टेंट एंड इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस वॉल्यूम है यू गेट पी वी इज इक्वल टू के विच मीन्स any pair of pressure and volume will multiply and give you the same value that's a remarkable thing wo jo gas ka bubble hai na jo 100 feet deep aapne yahan pe rakha hai let's suppose iski volume hai 2 cm cube aur uske upar pressure hai 
पैसकल्स का और हंड्रेड तो बहुत कम होगा लेट सपोज वन थाउजेंड पैसकल्स का उसका किलो पैसकल्स का उसके ऊपर प्रेशर है सॉरी या नाउ एट द सरफेस वी हैव अ प्रेशर ऑफ जस्ट हंड्रेड थाउजेंड पैसकल्स सो ये जब राइज करेगा तो इसकी वॉल्यूम बढ़ेगी सो लेट सी इसका वॉल्यूम क्या होगा बॉयल्स लॉ टेल्स मी यू टेक एनी सिचुएशन प्रेशर एंड वॉल्यूम को मल्टीप्लाई करो प्रोवाइडेड टेम्परेचर चेंज नहीं होता है लेट्स बोल दिस इज अ वेरी डीप स्विमिंग पूल जिसमें टेम्परेचर कांस्टेंट है देन द प्रेशर टाइम्स वॉल्यूम एट दिस स्टेज इज इक्वल टू प्रेशर टाइम्स वॉल्यूम एट दिस स्टेज एंड दे गो यहां पे बन रहा है बॉटम पे टू इंटू टेन थाउजेंड तो सरफेस पे भी बनेगा हंड्रेड इंटू वट एवर द वॉल्यूम इज सॉरी हंड्रेड थाउजेंड है ना हंड्रेड थाउजेंड पैसकल्स और वो वन थाउजेंड पैसकल्स है so there you go this 100 will cancel out 20 cm cube is going to be my volume wo bubble expand karega aapka pressure 10 times kam hua hai uski volume 10 times badhegi and that is how it happens ye boyle's law hai similarly we have charles law charles law simply says aap ek gas pakro usko aap heat karo it will expand that's it you apply heat on it which means you are giving it kinetic energy and we'll talk about how that works abhi hum why pe nahi ja rahe hum sirf how dekh rahe hain so volume is directly proportional to the temperature and then there's another one which is gee lussac's law ye yeah, naam yaad karne ki zarurat nahi hai aap logon ko this says that pressure is like proportional to temperature oh wait a minute this is gilosuk's law and this is charles law and lastly we have avogadro's law and avogadro's law says that volume is like proportional to number of moles now let me explain this so just like boyle's law can be converted into an equation and it tells you that pressure multiplied by volume at any stage provided temperature doesn't change is the same sa charles law says that pressure is equal to k times t which means pressure ko temperature se divide karo hamesha ek hi value aayegi provided volume doesn't change and gee lussac's law kehta hai ki volume badhaoge to temperature badhega और वॉल्यूम कम करोगे तो टेम्परेचर कम होएगा या टेम्परेचर कम करोगे तो वॉल्यूम कम होगा एंड दैट इज हाउ द रिलेशन बिहेव एंड एवोगार्ड लॉ सेज पार्टिकल्स जिनसे वो गैस बन रही है उनको बढ़ा दो द वॉल्यूम विल इंक्रीज ऑल यू हैव टू डू इज यू हैव टू पंप इन मोर गैस वेट वी यूज इट इफ यू हैव एवर वर्क विद बलून यू नो दिस how do you blow up a balloon you simply blow air into it you are increasing the number of air molecules that are inside wo khud hi bada hota jata hai kyun na aap temperature badal rahe ho aur na aap uska pressure badal rahe ho aur gee lussac law apne kahan use kiya hai not just gases liquids bhi isko follow karte hain agar thermometer use kiya hai thermometer mein mercury hota hai wo expand karta hai wo kaise expand karta hai you give it heat It tries to increase in volume, तो वो volume तो उतनी बढ़ा नहीं पाता वो बस increase करता जाता है कैसे वो expand हो जाता है बहुत थोड़ी सी volume बढ़ती है लेकिन हमें thermometer में नजर आती है And we have used all of this in our lives. And today your homework is to figure out any application of this in your life. इन चारों laws को आपने कहा use किया है यह आपका पहला homework है आज second is of course i'm going to give you a worksheet for this now here's another thing the important thing to remember from avogadro's law one mole of any gas takes 24 dm cube at room temperature and pressure that is a very important law to remember wo kehte hai aap particles badhao volume badhti hai तो अगर पार्टिकल्स मैं फिक्स कर दूं तो वॉल्यूम फिक्स नहीं हो जानी चाहिए और वही होता है मोल क्या है हम देखेंगे 
बट फॉर नाउ जस्ट रिमेम्बर दैट मोल इज अ वे ऑफ काउंटिंग द नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल ये जो एन है ना नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल ये वो है सो मैं कह रहा हूं कि अगर वॉल्यूम बढ़ता है इफ नंबर ऑफ मोल्स इंक्रीज सो वॉल्यूम फिक्स कर दूंगा तो वॉल्यूम भी फिक्स हो जाने चाहिए ना नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल्स फिक्स कर दिया तो वॉल्यूम भी फिक्स हो जाएगा एंड दैट इज हाउ वन मोल ऑफ एनी गैस इट टेक्स ट्वेंटी फोर डी एम क्यूब एंड इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड दीज लॉज दीज फोर लॉज यू अंडरस्टैंड गैसेज एंड इफ यू अंडरस्टैंड गैसेज यू अंडरस्टैंड सॉलिड एंड लिक्विड बिकॉज सॉलिड उसका ऑपोजिट है और लिक्विड इज समेर इन द मिडल okay and that's it for today a very simple lesson you need to know what states of matter are and how they behave i'll send you a worksheet on whatsapp try to solve it any questions